Hello! My name is Corbett Harrison and I have been a reading and writing teacher since 1990 and since 1998 I became a writing trainer for the districts uh, in my area and have been doing that ever since as well as continue full-time teaching. I maintain a website, it's called Always Write. Uh, our philosophy is over the years, we've borrowed so many great ideas that we continue to use. Why not have a place to post them and give credit to the teachers who inspired us, as well as our own original ideas. And that's what Always Write or CorbettHarrison.com has become. At the site, our popular topics are sacred writing time, which is what this particular video is about, uh, teaching writing through uh, vocabulary instruction, and then uh, Mentor text instruction is a big topic uh, that teachers come to our website for. So if you're interested in any of those topics, please come check us out. Let's talk about sacred writing. Um, here's a prompt you might give your students early on uh, in the school year. Name several things that you believe if you practiced, you would honestly become better at. And here are answers that I might expect from my students. Uh, they know they get better at music and sports and song and dance by practicing. Very few of my students will list. They would. They think they would get better at writing by practicing, but that's not true. That's what sacred writing time is. It's the practice people need to promote fluency. By the end of the year, those 10 minutes that I promise my students, it's sacred every day, promised. 10 minutes, in that 10 minutes, you will practice. By the end of the year, you'll be able to write a lot more, but because I'm also doing many lessons all year long, your writing will improve in quality. It's called sacred writing time, and it's a 10 minute promise I made to my students every single day. Um, where I come from, there's a lot of very formulaic left brain expectations that involve writing. Uh, state tests, for example, might be one. And uh, sacred writing time is that time in instruction where students can be creative. If you just do the formulaic, logical, structured writing assignments, students will never enjoy writing. Sacred writing time is that 10 minutes where they get to enjoy what they write every day. And then finally, I said that I use a lot of mini lessons. It's your opportunity to say to those students, hey, yesterday we did a great mini lesson on the power of good action verbs. See what you can do with action verbs in your piece of writing today for sacred writing time. Have at it. And that's what you want. You want to think about those students who 10 minutes a day to be themselves on a piece of paper, students that would benefit from that. Now, I always meet students teachers who say, but what about the students who won't do that? And I assume that means they're not refusing to do it. I assume that means they just don't know how to do it. And don't worry, at our website we provide resources to scaffold for those students. This, for example, is one of those resources. Uh, this is just one of ten writer's notebook bingo cards that uh, we feature at our website. Um, these uh, were designed for the very purpose and place for those students who have no idea. They've never been asked to come up with their own idea to write about for 10 minutes every day. What do I, where do I even start? This is for them. Now, the idea here is not to fill in every space, it's to make a bingo once a month. I'll give you five opportunities where if you don't have an idea, here's an idea from the bingo card you can use. And I, uh, Dina and I, she, my wife and I, we made these bingo cards together. And they, with almost 50 years between us, we write some pretty good writing topics for students who struggle with their own ideas. Here's a good one from this particular card, for example. A lot of times students just need to know how to start. And so here's one that says, here are your first four words. You write the rest now. And you'll have kids who say, can I say I was totally surprised instead of not surprised? And your answer to that question is always, yes, you can write. The goal here is you're practicing fluent writing for 10 minutes, whatever your topic inspires you. Um, they're not all creative. Here's one that would just require a bulleted list for your logical thinking students. Um, and it's a good topic, would probably get some voice out of them. And then um, my purpose in sacred writing time is I want my students to hatch original ideas always. And in their sacred writing time writer's notebook, um, that's where I see a lot of original ideas hatch. And these promote the idea. This is one where we invent something that doesn't exist yet. That's uh, a lot of those on these cards as well. And here's the most important thing on the cards, what it says at the very bottom. I don't want them to use these cards unless they have to. This is scaffolding if you need it. Everyone comes in on, on certain days and, ooh, I don't have a topic today. Um, that's what these are for. They are not to become dependent. In fact, I expect the opposite of that. And so please be aware of that. And here's the deal. You can't just pass out a bingo card and expect this to work. You have to teach 
two. And so let me share with you how I teach in the beginning of the year when I'm introducing these sacred writing time and these bingo cards. First of all, I bring out the best book on writer's notebooks, um, handbook for students ever written. And here it is. I have a class set, um, and we, uh, it's 12 chapters, 140 pages, um, takes 10 to 20 minutes to read a chapter. Uh, my kids jigsaw or quietly read, and then we do activities based on this book in the first, when we're introducing our sacred writing program or our writer's notebook program. This is a valuable book to have. And it was written for students by a real author, and I included a picture of what he wrote on the back cover here, just so you can see this is the language of the book. It's not so sophisticated that it will bog students down. It's there to, and it's encouraging, and it uses great voice. And so I'm a teacher, this is how I teach the idea of what's sacred. Here's a tool. Here's me teaching. Keep in mind, you can't just pass things out and expect them to work. Experienced teachers know that. Um, the other thing that I support my students with, we have another product on our website called Sacred Writing Time Slides. We developed these the year after we developed the bingo cards. Um, Dina brainstormed all of the national holidays or international holidays, which all really do exist, and the trivial fact of the day, I created an interesting quote and a vocabulary word of the day, and we did it for 366 days. Um, that's leap year, or leap day is included in there. In fact, the leap day slide is a pretty darn funny one, but um, uh, they are slides that uh, we created them because when our students walk in, this is the first thing they see projected on the wall, and it's a reminder to them that grab your writer's notebook, be ready when the bell rings. That's when we do our 10 minutes of sacred writing time. Hey, and it reminds them, did you bring a topic? Don't just plan to sit there. And if they don't have a topic, all four of those things written on the slide are there to say, if you don't have a topic, this might support you. So uh, another way that we provide scaffolding for our students here. If you're interested in this product, it is our best selling product. Um, if you go to Google and you just put those five words in or that number in those four words, um, at the time of making this video, we were the number one hit when uh, that particular search string went into the search engine. So, um, And so here we are, September in my class. Now keep in mind, in northern Nevada, we start in early August, so um, we're four weeks in. Um, I pass out, uh, we've, we've jigsawed the Ralph Fletcher book. Um, we are using the Sacred Writing Time slides. They know the bingo cards. Many are using the bingo cards, many are not. Um, what I want to tell you about the bingo cards that we think is also um, well worth looking at. Um, it's called the center square lesson. Um, each comes with that. That free space is actually a hyperlink if you have this open on your computer um, in a word as a Word document or a PDF document. You click right on there. It will take you to a lesson. Those lessons are specifically designed to try to teach you different formats to try writing. I don't want my students to always write paragraphs. I don't want my students to always write Dear Diary. I want my students to experiment with different ways to present writing. Above my picture right now you can see several of the techniques I teach my students and encourage them to use different ones as often as they possibly can. ABC list is the bottom one. Students can design an ABC list in 10 minutes or over two periods of sacred writing time. It's a good solid writing lesson. If you clicked on that link, and here I've done that, um, it will actually take you to the online lesson um, that you can get if you have the bingo cards. At the lesson there's an overview and we also always suggest a mentor text. The mentor text is optional, but just so you know, every lesson we post is inspired by the idea inside an actual mentor text. And so the mentor text here came before the lesson and it's not a bad mentor text to have. Um, the lesson also comes with online tools you might need. Um, here's a brainstorming worksheet plus an explanation of how you might use that brainstorming worksheet. And then um, they all come with teacher models. This is the um, final product from my own writer's notebook. Um, I always make my examples a little bit better than I'd expect my students' finals to come out. This is a project we work on for three or four days and ultimately it gets published in the notebook so it kind of looks like this. Theirs don't necessarily look as good as this, but you will have students who say, can I take it home and try to make it look good? That's what you want. You want the students who are really getting into this idea and then you want those students to be among all the other students because when they share and they see how one another are being creative during sacred writing time, that creativity becomes contagious. Um, here is another thing that you'll find at each of the center square lessons is a student sample. And this is uh, Emily's example when she was a seventh grader. Um, what I like about this is it's a different format. It's a page in a writer's notebook that she will always be happy to share because it's a page she puts some effort into. But 
If she runs out of bingo card options, or she's not inspired by the sacred writing time, what I like about this particular page in a writer's notebook is there's a whole bunch of topics that students are saying they wouldn't mind writing about, and they can become topics of sacred writing time. That's how things should work together in a writing classroom, coming together. Hey, remember, our um, bingo cards, um, our philosophy on our website is uh, try it before you buy it. And we offer, for that reason, the August and the September card completely as a free preview. Um, try it out with your students. See if they respond to it. See if they like the idea of sacred writing time before investing um, the money um, in the whole set. But if you know you'll have students who would appreciate this kind of scaffolding, the uh, resource exists for that reason. Um, and then finally, um, if you are looking for it directly, uh, Google those six words. Again, at the time of making the video, that was where we were at the top. Hey, we are the Always Right website. My wife and I work diligently to post new lessons every month. Hope you'll check us out and uh, support us by not only using our free materials, but if you're inclined to buy something of quality, uh, our writer's notebook bingo cards uh, are very well liked by teachers across the country. Thanks for listening and uh, right on everyone. Bye.